In the example below, I need to fill in the missing parts of the table given one piece of information in each row. So the first row, I have 32%. I'm going to start by changing that to a fraction. So let's remove the percent sign. 32% is 32 over 100. So remove the percent, place the number over 100, and then reduce. So 32 is 4 times 8. 100 is 4 times 25. Common factor of 4 is removed, and my resulting fraction is 8 over 25. To write a decimal, I can either take 8 divided by 25 or 32 divided by 100. That was our fraction that we started with over here. Either one of those will give me a decimal result of 0 0.32. Looking at the next problem, 0 0.40, let's go to the fraction first. That's 4 over 100. 4 hundredths is the decimal here. I can remove a common factor of 4, leaving me with a simplified fraction of 1 over 25. To write four hundredths as a percent, well, four over one hundred is the exact meaning of percent of four percent. So four out of a hundred is four percent, and this decimal is four out of a of hundred, so this four percent is our percent. If I have three quarters, I can divide three by four. That's going to give me a decimal, 0 0.75. To write 0 0.75 as a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. So 0 0.75 times 100. And I'm going to include the percent. So that is 75%. Looking at the next row, 0 0.625, let's start with the fraction. 625 out of 1,000. I'm going to reduce common factor of 25 in the numerator and the denominator. So 25 times 25, 25 times 40. So the 25's cancel. I still am going to have a common factor of 5. So 5 times 5 over 5 times 8. We don't always get the biggest part right away. So this fraction is 5 over 8. If I want to write 0.625 as a percent, I need to take 0.625 times 100, add the percent sign, which is going to give me 62.5%. 150 percent is 1 50, excuse me, let me put that over here, 150 out of a 100 as a fraction, and if I reduce that, I get 1 and 50 over 100, which is 1 and 1 half. As a decimal, 150 percent, if I divide 150 by 100, I get 1.5 is my decimal. The last one, 1 and 3 sevenths, is a little more difficult. I'm going to write that as an improper fraction. That's going to be 10 over 7. And to get a decimal, I'm going to divide 10 by 7. And if I round to the third decimal, as indicated here, I get 1.429. To write that as a percent, 1.429. I'm going to multiply by 100 and include the percent. That's going to be 142.9 percent. Makes sense because the number is bigger than 1, so my percent would be bigger than 100.